The first calculation we completed was finding the centripetal force. The centripetal force is the force on an object that keeps the object moving in a circle. To find the centripetal force, we first had to identify what it was. After drawing a free body diagram, it was clear to see that the x component of the tensional force was the centripetal force. So in order to find the centripetal force, we had to calculate the tensional force. Referring back to the free body diagram, the only force that is acting on the chair in person is the force of gravity, or Fg, which is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, which is negative 9.80 meters per second squared. For our mass, we took the average of our three masses, which came out to be 59.4 kilograms, and added it to the approximate mass of the chair, 9 kilograms, which we obtained through researching the ride. This makes Fg equal to 670.3 newtons. We can also find the angle, theta, needed to find the components of the tensional force by measuring the angle from a picture of the ride. Theta is approximately 27.5 degrees. We then use Newton's first law, which is the sum of the forces equal to zero, and determine that the force of gravity would be equal to the y component of the tensional force. Then you solve the equation for Ft by plugging in our known values. Now that we have the value for the tensional force, 1,451.65 newtons, we can find the centripetal force since it is equal to the x component of the tensional force. After setting up the equations, you plug in the values we have and solve for the centripetal force. The centripetal force in this situation came out to be 1,287.63 newtons.